Hi everyone, so it's time for another long cross country solo trip. This time I'm headed to St. Paul, Minnesota to see the Vikings play the 49ers. I'm departing about two hours late due to the weather. I had to allow a thunderstorm to pass before I could safely depart. I've chosen to follow the IFR flight plan due to the cloud ceiling being low along my route. So this trip is going to be about 325 nautical miles in three and a half hours. So right here, departure is vectoring me around the Bravo airspace, which is why I'm flying at 3,000 feet. All right, we're about to go into some clouds. At this point of the trip, I am clear of the Bravo airspace, and I have actually climbed to 4,000. Make it back on course. A little off course. A little bit. Oh, the sun's coming out. That's nice. So as you can see at 4,000 feet, I'm definitely flying in IMC weather. I'm flying through lots of broken clouds. Um, approach, is there any way for Warrior 43 ceiling to get vectored around this weather? It's a little bumpy up here. And uh, number 438 uh, Sierra Lima affirmative, but uh, actually you're gonna be out of it in about uh, three minutes. I would say if anything you wanna fly heading three, so 340, you might get out just a little bit. So this particular cell consisted of some moderate to heavy rain, as well as some light hail. That was a lot. Alright, this is better. I told the controller that it was a little bumpy, but it really wasn't. I honestly couldn't put into words how I was feeling. It felt more like I was stuck in a car wash. I actually didn't plan on landing at another airport before I reached St. Paul, but after flying in overcast and broken clouds for over an hour and then flying through that rain, I decided to take a break and land. Approach this is Warrior 4382. I would like to terminate my IFR flight plan and go visual and land at Y Yankee 51, Yankee 51. I do there. Who wanted to terminate their IFR and land at Yankee 51? Warrior 4382 would like to terminate IFR flight uh, plan and go visual and get, uh, land at Yankee 5 1. 4382 Sierra Lima, Roger. IFR cancellation is received. You can swap the VFR. Change your advisory is, is approved. Then I will. Uh, later, have, you, have a good flight. Alright, squawking VFR and frequency change is approved. 3382 Lima. 3382 Lima on a three mile final for runway 11 for quad traffic. This airport is unattended 24 hours a day, but it did have a snack area inside and also a courtesy car that I could have used, but I just needed to get some fuel and use the facilities. So now I'm back in the air and I'm currently flying on another IFR flight plan that I filed on the ground. Here I'm flying over La Crosse Regional Airport in Wisconsin, so I'm about 100 nautical miles away from St. Paul, so I have about an hour to go. So I finally made it to Minnesota, and this beautiful view is over Winona, Minnesota, so now I'm about 45 minutes away from St. Paul. St. Paul Tower, 432 Lima, RNAV 32. 438 Sierra Lima, St. Paul Tower, runway 32, clear to land. 32 clear to land, 4438 Sierra Lima. And this ain't the slowest. <laughs> so I finally made it to St. Paul. I'm not sure what happened with my cameras, but out of four cameras, this is the only footage that I got of myself landing. So 
So I arrived at the stadium and it's supposed to be shaped like a ship because it's the Minnesota Vikings. I don't really think it looks like one, but that's what it's supposed to look like. Now this looks like a ship, obviously. I thought it was really cool how the eyes of the dragon light up. So here's another view. I still don't see how this stadium is supposed to be shaped like a ship. I just don't see it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.